In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply a shadow or drop shadow effect on text in GIMP. Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Little Zoe, and today I'm going to show you how to apply the drop shadow effect or shadow effect on text in GIMP. Let's get started. As you can see, I've already opened up GIMP and right here I have a transparent background. So the first thing we're going to do is color that in. I will pick this blue color here. All right. And then I think I'm just going to create another layer. There we go. And I'll color that in with white. All right. So let's bring back the blue layer on top. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with our text to Wanda. All right, and then I'll choose a different font, let's say Flow Brush. All right, then change the font size to 250 so that it's more visible. Now let's just select the Move tool. Rather, let's just select the alignment tool. Okay, make sure it's aligned to the center. Right, so you will find the drop shadow effects or long shadow effects under filters. Light and shadow, and then light and shadow, and then we have a drop shadow and long shadow. But before we do that, I'm just going to duplicate this layer here. I think we can just duplicate it one more time so that I can show you the different ways of doing it and the outcome you'll get. So let's just switch off these bottom two layers and we'll start working with that one. Trans Tawanda number two. Okay, so like I said, filters, light and shadow. So we'll start off with a drop shadow, that's the simplest. Click drop shadow. And instantly you can tell that a drop shadow has been added in the background. So you can choose to have the preview or not. There we go, on and off. There's the preview. And now you can adjust, make adjustments to your drop shadow here. So the radius, uh, opacity, for example. If you adjust that, you see it becomes darker and bolder. Let's just leave it at 0.50. So as you can see, the text is already, already has a drop shadow to it. In, and now it becomes more visible against the white background because without that if we switch on the other layers and switch off the one with the drop shadow the text is invisible so you'll have instances where you want your text to stand out you want a lighter color tone a lighter color text against the, or you have a lighter background and you want your text to really pop up a drop shadow is a really cool way of making that happen right so that's the drop shadow easy straight to the point switch that off let's switch that on let's move on to Tawanda number one now filters light and shadow long shadow so the moment you apply the long shadow effect you can actually see that it looks like the shadow is protruding or is attached to the text to the text but in this case since our text is white the shadow is gonna look white let's just change the color quickly and just make it a darker shade of gray like that yeah that. Um, select ok so you can already see that our text has like this 3d effect that's m that's now been applied to it now you can actually choose to go shadow minus image or shadow only only under composition so if you choose shadow only the text has disappeared if you choose shadow minus image now the text has the cut the text is still visible but rather the text has disappeared but it's left an impression of what it says so you can actually still still tell what it says or the form that's been used in this instant now and when it comes to the shadow itself you can actually adjust the shadow length so i missed the first option here you can choose the style you need to use infinite
fading okay there we go and fading fixed length there we go oh yeah and also you can adjust the angle the direction it's facing so look as we, if we turn this wheel you can see that the shadow is actually responding to that I'll just put it back on 45 again you can still choose to add the same filter in fact you can actually choose to repeat the same thing you've just done maybe for emphasis if it's a drop shadow and you feel it's not as bold enough you can just repeat and it's like multiplying it times two so we can actually go back to like long shadow again and then this time maybe you want to change the the color maybe you, you're thinking maybe that one was just way too dark maybe I want to make it a little red maybe I want to make it look different like that it's still up to you maybe you want it to be blue or you want it to be green again that's entirely up to you and it really now depends on the look and feel you want to create uh, with your text so there we have it today a quick and easy tip on how to apply the shadow effect on text in GIMP I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you guys found it useful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification icon so you guys don't miss out on content we publish. And yeah, don't forget to like and share as well. Thank you guys for watching.